Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Pop Century Resort. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! Disney's Pop Century is a memorable resort celebrating how we lived, played, and communicated throughout the 20th century. Pop Century is considered a value resort. There's actually three tiers of resorts here at the Walt Disney World Resort. Value, Moderate, and Deluxe. The value here at Pop Century offers a very reasonable rate and a good location. We're headed to the main entrance of Disney's Pop Century. We're gonna go into Classic Hall. Classic Hall, of course, is where it contains the front desk. But before we get there, we've come up on this classic car. It looks like a 1957 Chevy themed to a golf cart. And here we are at Classic Hall. We're just gonna head through the double doors with the Pop Century logo. And we're gonna head into the main lobby here. And as soon as we're inside the main lobby, on the left-hand side is the front desk. And it looks like it stretches almost the whole cinema hall here. And over on the right-hand side is some classic memorabilia from the past decades. For example, this is from the 50s, which leads into the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. But we're going to go up ahead and check out my classic decade, my favorite, my personal favorite. The 80s. And here's some items from the 1980s with Cabbage Patch Kid, My Little Pony, Miss Piggy, Rainbow Bright, Simon Says, Trivial Pursuit, He Man. And there's even a small tribute over here to Michael Jackson. Check this out Michael Jackson's Thriller at the Pop Century. Who knew? And if you're into electronics and gaming, Atari from the 80s, and Nintendo, Commodore 64, Apple. But let's continue up ahead here. If we look straight, there's the everything pop shopping and dining. But before we get there, we're just going to take a right and look over here. Over to the right hand side is the fast forward arcade and restrooms. And if you go through those doors there, it'll take you to the hippy dippy pool. But we're going to turn around and check out what's directly behind us here. Just over on the left hand side coming up here is the business center. And the business center has the ATM which you can just see peeking out through the corner there. And just around here is some portable chargers, area to charge your phone, and business center with PCs and printer. And here you could send a letter to your friends or family from the Walt Disney World Resort. And there's some prepaid phone cards. If we head through these doors, it'll take us out to the bus transportation. Let's go take a look. Just gonna go through these double sets of double doors. And if we look just over on our right hand side here, here's where the buses come pick you up. And we're looking at the bus transportation, which takes you to all four parks, the water parks, and Disney Springs. So we saw the bus transportation here at Pop Century. Now let's head back inside. And we're gonna head back inside these double doors that we just came out of, back in the Classic Hall. And we're gonna go have a look at everything pop, shopping, and dining, just up here on the left-hand side. So now we're gonna head inside the shop and see what merchandise offerings we could find. We're immediately greeted with the 2021 Disney World Resort offerings. But we're going to go see if we could locate some specialty merchandise here at the Pop Century. It looks like just up on the left hand side, there's some tie dyed t-shirts that fit in with the theme of the resort very nicely. And yeah, here they are. Disney's Pop Century t-shirts. Let's see how much they are. It is $24.99. Let's see what else we could find here. Oh, they have a keychain. And it looks like some refrigerator magnets and even a Tervis mug. Let's see how much the Tervis mug is. $17.99. All right. 
So we'll just take a quick look at the rest of the shop here. It looks like we could go out to the bus transportation through those doors there. Here's the merchandise wrap and registers. Oh, they have a collection of ears. Let's just go take a quick look. Ear headbands, $29.99. All right, looks like they have a bunch of them. Even the rainbow one. Just gonna check out the rest of the store. We'll just take a quick look on the opposite side. And then we're gonna make a left and take a quick look at the food court. Let's take a look at the menu. Everything Pop Food Courts has a couple of featured offerings. For example, they have the Star Wars Lucasfilm 2021 Resort Refillable Mug for $29.99. And they also have a cold brew Joffrey's Coffee for $3.79. Let's continue into the food court and see where we pick up our mobile order pickup. We could just make a left here where the sign says mobile order pickup and go pick it up at this handy dandy station. Let's take a look at the rest of it. For example, there's some register wraps here and straight ahead is your refillable mug and drink station. And we're just gonna take a look at the refillable drink stations here real fast. We're gonna go out the exit just straight ahead here out these doors. And it's gonna take us or lead us out to the hippy dippy pool. We're just outside the hippy dippy pool. Let's go take a look. Just look beyond the steps here. You can see this nice pool. Did I happen to mention that it's a beautiful day here at the Walt Disney World Resort? And if we just look over to the right hand side, there's Petals Bar, but we'll come back to that later. And check out this big Pop Century icon. And we're just outside Classic Hall. We're gonna make a right and we're gonna go check out all the exterior guest rooms. Follow me. We're just headed down the pathway. We're actually headed over to the 50s section. So Disney's Pop Century is laid out with exterior motel style rooms that have classic oversized iconography of the past decades. Let's go find some. And we've come up to a directory here at Pop Century. I'm gonna take a quick look. So we just came out of Classic Hall and we're actually right here at You Are Here and we're gonna head over to the 50s section. After the 50s, we'll go to the 60s. Check this out. There's an oversized King Brunswick red crown bowling pin disguising the staircase of the 50s buildings. That's pretty cool. We've come up to the bowling pool. And there's some more iconography over here. Sock hop, nice wheels. We've come up to the classic 50s where the buildings are faceted with radios and records and large oversized saying like real hip. But if we look just over to our left hand side, look, there's Lady from Lady and the Tramp. And here's Lady's companion, Tramp. Oh, here it is, the bowling pool. It's even shaped like a bowling pin. And if you look just over to the right, you can see Lady again. And the guest restrooms are even themed like a locker room. And if you look over to the left-hand side, there's a tabletop jukebox. Very cool. Now that we've seen the classic 50s, let's head over to the 60s section and check out the Hippy Dippy Pool and Petals Bar. We're just outside the 60s and they have a Duncan Imperial yo-yo top adorning their staircase. Pretty neat. But let's go check out the pool. Here we are at the Hippy Dippy Pool. It's located just outside Classic Hall. You can see Classic Hall just behind that word pop there. We came through those double doors. But if we look just over to the right hand side with the building, it says peace, love and happiness and fitted to the building are peace signs and flower power and people dancing in the 60s. And if you look just beyond the right hand side, you can see Baloo and Mowgli. Look at how tall Baloo is. He's got to be four stories tall. And look at this large oversized can of Play-Doh with the characters poking out the top. And just over to my right hand side is a little area for junior explorers to chill out. But let's continue down the pathway and just take a look at Baloo again. He looks fun and fancy free along with Mowgli. Nearby the Hippy Dippy pool is a table tennis board. And just up ahead here are the restrooms that share the same building as the Petals Bar. 
And here's the Petals Bar right outside the Hippy Dippy Pool. It offers a vast array of grown-up explorer signature drink options. And for the junior explorers, there's a beverage station right by the pool. So if we look right over here to the left, there's the pool, and they could get a soda with a refillable drink mug. But now, let's go check out the classic 70s. Follow me. I also just wanted to show you how fun the guests that stay at this resort are. They decorate their windows. It's pretty cool. And we're just on our way over to the 70s and we came up on surfing Goofy. Hi Goofy, that's pretty neat. And for all you classic car explorers, here's a classic Corvette. This 8-tracks was just behind me. This 8-tracks adorns the stairway and disguises it here in the 70s. There's also this fun game of Twister that you can come play. So you could spin the dial here. Let's try it. And then here's the board from the board game Twister. Here we are in the classic 70s where the buildings have platform shoes and mood rings and phrases like polyester. Also in the classic 70s, you have Mickey. There's an oversized Mickey phone right across from the big wheel here. And if you look carefully just over here, there's even a game of foosball. They're taller than I am. That's pretty neat. What's your handle? And boogie down. Here's that Mickey phone again. He's got to be over 40 feet tall. It's pretty neat. But if we just look over here, we can see the foosball players. They're tall, along with this giant big wheel. But now the time has come to go to my personal favorite section, the 1980s. Let's go check that out. We're just coming up to the 80s, but something caught my eye. In 1984, Michael Jackson's Thriller becomes the biggest selling album in history. But just up here is Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head in a photo spot. They're waving hi. Oh, that's so nice. It's a meet and greet for the junior explorers. Well, let's continue and look just beyond the tree here. It's a Rubik's Cube. Look at that. A Rubik's Cube disguises the stairway here in the 1980 section. That's pretty cool. Personally, I never solved one and I never knew anybody who has. They're pretty hard. And we're just coming up to the classic 80 section. Right in front of us here is some nice landscaping and the exterior buildings. It says preppy on it. And there's some Pac-Man ghosts on it. So it's like a giant video game. And up on the left hand side here is a giant Walkman. Let's go check that out. And here's a Sony Sports Walkman. Hey, it's pretty big. I don't remember mine being this tall. And here we are in the classic 80s section. There's also Roger Rabbit right across the way. And in front of him is a QWERTY keyboard that leads us to the computer pool. And just beyond that to the left is a stack of floppy disks. And the restrooms right across the way. And behind that is another building. That's the 90s section over there. And over in the 90s section they have a giant laptop. But we'll go check that out in a moment. We're back here on ground level. Look at how big this QWERTY keyboard is that leads up to Roger Rabbit on the turpentine. And the classic 80s are totally awesome. Here's just a quick look at the computer pool. We're now leaving the 80s section and we're headed over to the classic 90s. I want to show you what adorns their staircases here in the 90s section. Naturally, it's a cell phone from the 90s. And if you look carefully at the display, it has Walt Disney World's telephone number on it. How neat is that? The classic 90s section has CDs fitted to the building along with rollerblades and phrases like whatever and surf the net. Look at the big laptop behind me. It's incredibly large. But let's go check out the actual exterior guest room hallways of the 90s buildings. Let's go. So we're going to make a left here right behind the laptop. And there used to be, I guess, pay phones there along with the house phone there currently and we're going to hit the elevator button hitting the button for the elevator all right the elevator is waiting for us so we're just going to go inside here's a quick look inside the elevator and we're going to go up to the fourth floor but we're going to back out of the elevator here and make a right and go around this hallway here. 
gonna make another right. And just up ahead is the computer pool. I'm gonna get a glimpse of that here in a moment. Such a nice day out here. If we just look over to the left-hand side, each room has this nice exterior window. And they have the room placard there, and there's the room in this particular area. You can look back in time, back to the 1980s. All right, so now that we've seen each section of the decades, the 50s to the 90s, let's go check out the Disney Skyliner located on Hourglass Lake. Let's go. There's also an alternative transportation method here at the Pop Century. It's the Disney Skyliner. And here's Disney Skyliner, now boarding to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, which is a hub, and it transfers over to Disney's Hollywood Studios, Disney's Riviera Resort, and Epcot. And here's the Disney Skyliner station, where you could take a gondola across Hourglass Lake. Located just on the opposite side of Hourglass Lake is Pop Century's sister resort, the Art of Animation. Just behind all the buildings on Hourglass Lake, there's a nice little walkway that you could use as a trail or a pathway, possibly a running path, to go around Hourglass Lake. And here's that pathway with a gorgeous lake in the background. There's even a running trail that goes around Hourglass Lake. Check this out. Here's the running trail. It takes 1.3 miles to go around the lake. Now let's head back to Classic Hall by going through the 60s section. And we're just outside Classic Hall back at the big pop sign. We're gonna go through these double doors right now, back inside the main lobby. Here we are headed back into the double doors. And located on the right, if you recall, is everything pop, shopping, and dining. Bus transportation straight ahead. But we're gonna make a left and go out towards the main entrance. And of course, on the right-hand side, is the front desk. And over on the left hand side again, it's all the classic memorabilia from past decades. But just before you get to the main entrance, off to the left hand side, there's a nice little sitting area. And we're going to go through the double doors here, back outside. We're going to make a right. Here we are back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Pop Century just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.